Are you having concerns about elevated cholesterol? Maybe you're wondering if your daily cup of joe or coffee is affecting your LDL cholesterol. My name is Dr. Terranella, and in this video, we're going to look at this question, does coffee raise LDL cholesterol? Maybe there's something specific in that coffee that affects your LDL cholesterol. Maybe it comes down to the type of coffee that you actually drink. These are some of the questions that we're going to look at in this video. As I said, my name is Dr. Terranella. If you're new to this channel, I just want you to know I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom, or diagnosis. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health optimization, hormones, genetics, et cetera, click on that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's check out this topic. Does coffee raise LDL cholesterol? In this video, we want to look at the question, does coffee raise LDL cholesterol? LDL cholesterol is very important to keep in check because it's the main contributor to arterial sclerosis and heart disease. Coffee in small to moderate amounts does not seem to contribute a whole lot to elevated levels of LDL cholesterol. Some studies have shown that coffee consumption may even have a small beneficial effect, while other studies have shown no effect at all. The thing that's important to note about coffee and its effect on LDL cholesterol is that it really depends on the individual, and it also depends on the type of coffee that we're talking about. When I'm referring to the type of coffee, I'm referring to the preparation of the coffee, but also the actual beans. So, of course, adding high-fat dairy things or coconut to coffee is not going to be helpful in keeping your LDL cholesterol in check, and it'll definitely raise it. Even before adding to that stuff, whether or not it's filtered or unfiltered is going to make a big difference in the effect on your LDL cholesterol as well. So if you're just boiling the coffee or using a French press, this lack of filtration may actually lead to higher amounts of certain compounds that can raise your LDL cholesterol. Unfiltered coffee contains two particular compounds that may be raising LDL cholesterol. One of them is called cathestol and the other one's called cowiol. Both of these have been shown to increase the amount of LDL cholesterol in some people. When coffee is filtered with a paper filter or a metal mesh filter, you're going to remove some of that cathestol in cowio. That's going to lead to a lower amount of these compounds in the final cup that you're drinking. The magnitude of effect of these two compounds on the cholesterol level is going to vary from one person to another and also your overall diet and lifestyle factors, such as your overall saturated fat intake. Some studies have shown that high doses of cathestol, in particular, somewhere around 14 to 20 milligrams, can raise your LDL cholesterol levels as much as 10 to 15%. So that means if you're starting with an LDL cholesterol of 110, maybe it goes up to 120 or even 130. The effect of the other compound, how we all, is not as well known and may not have as much effect on cholesterol levels. So you may be asking, how many milligrams is actually in my cup of coffee? Well, again, it's going to matter if it's filtered or unfiltered. So I think if you're drinking filtered coffee, it's probably nothing to really worry about. On the other hand, if it's unfiltered, such as like French press or espresso, you're definitely going to have some of these compounds in there. And then it's going to depend on the actual type of bean and the roast level, how long it's brewed for and things like that. But on average, a cup of unfiltered coffee, French press, espresso type of coffee contain somewhere around two to five milligrams of cafestol and two to four milligrams of caviar. So that means you'd have to drink somewhere around two to four cups of coffee to start to have an impact on your actual levels. Now, let's say on the max amount, you have five milligrams of one of the one compound and four of the other, and that's already nine milligrams. So we already said that 14 to 20 milligrams can affect 
your LDL cholesterol as much as 10 to 15%. So we want to stay well below that. So one cup of coffee, if it's brewed in these ways and happens to have higher concentrations of these, you may be right there on that threshold. So it's really going to depend. And I think you're going to have to do some experimentation with no coffee to really know for sure how much it's affecting it. And I think if you're at one cup a day, there's not really much to worry about. But once you start getting into two and three cups, and these are probably like actual cup measurements that we're referring to here too, that's when you're going to start to have more of an impact. Of course, like like everything else, genetics and other lifestyle factors are going to play a role in your overall LDL cholesterol levels. So it's important to consider other factors outside of cholesterol when you're trying to optimize your overall cardiovascular risk. But coffee definitely can play a role in raising your LDL cholesterol, depending on the type of coffee that you drink, the amount, and obviously what all you're adding to it. If you have concerns about how to lower your LDL cholesterol naturally or through diet, check out my other videos on this topic. One is called How to Lower Cholesterol Without Statins and How to Control High Cholesterol Naturally. All right, so how did I do? Did that give you a better understanding of does coffee raise LDL cholesterol? Hopefully it does. If you do have follow-up questions on this topic, drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your question. And I may do a separate video on that topic. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.